I'm Steve from This Week With Cars, and today I'm finally ready for some big upgrades to the M109 military truck camper. Let's go inside and check out the setup as it is right now. As you can see right now, the bed takes up the majority of the space in here. I do have some space over here. This is where I'm going to be putting in the cabinets and the sink. Over on this side, I have a Dometic fridge mounted down there. I have a camping stove on top of that. That's a portable toilet. And there's a very small walkway on the side of the bed right there. So I'm actually going to take this bed out. This is a king size bed. I'm going to put a queen size bed in here, which is going to give more room to walk down this walkway because the light switches are up on those panels there. And it's just a real pain because you have to crawl over the bed to get to any of this equipment right now. The queen size bed is the same length as a king. So that will not change the distance from the end of the bed to the doorway but I think the cabinets that I have will fit in real nicely right here. So I'm gonna get started by re removing this bed to make room for the next project. I have the bed removed and everything along the driver's side of the box out of here. So I've got a clean slate right here. All of this, I'm gonna be putting cabinets over here and then a different bed here, which should give me more walking space over along the side. Having more walking space is important because I still have the original military shelves up here which get in the way of walking along the wall so you, it'll be nice to have a little bit more space because it is hard to walk underneath those shelves. This is where I'm starting and what this is, this is a bed frame that's going to space the bed up 18 inches from the floor and that will allow me to hide equipment under there, maybe some water tanks and as well as storage boxes. This will be a big improvement. I'll have plenty of space to store everything now. I will have links to all of the equipment that I'm using here, uh, but I thought this was pretty neat. This is the bed frame, and it, the main structure of the frame actually comes with these nice hinges. So this is actually gonna be put together pretty quickly. Then you can see that the cross pieces just lay into those slots right there. I thought that putting this frame together was going to take a lot more time than it looks it's going to. Here's what the basic frame looks like. I picked this one in particular because there is nothing here in the middle besides that one spot right there, which leaves me a lot of space in the front where I can slide things in under the bed here. And now with the frame put together, all I have to do is just pop these in. All right, there's the completed frame. As you saw, a couple of those were hard to get in. It's not quite square until you get all those set in there, and some of them do fit pretty tight. I might end up attaching this frame to the truck at some point, but for now, I'm gonna leave it like this. That way, I can move it if I need to to put more equipment underneath it, such as batteries or water tanks or things like that. And here it is with the mattress on it. You can see, I actually have a good walkway on this side of the bed now. And I still have room for my cabinets up here. The bed is a lot taller from where it was sitting before, but it's still below this level right here. And actually, if you have the blinds down, you're at a good level to actually see out of the windows now while sleeping in bed. I think this so far is going to be the largest improvement that I've made to the truck. Here is what I'm going to be doing for cabinets. This one is going to have two doors on it, and this is going to be all drawers and then if you see on the top of this one i've marked out a square here that's where i'm going to cut this out for a sink and the sink that i'm going to put in is going to drop in it's going to also have a nice wooden cover over it so that i can continue my counter space over there when not using the sink and inside of it has a nice little dishwashing tray and also something to catch all the particles so that dishes could actually be washed in here as well if needed to be. These counters are kind of low right now. Um, they're probably well below waist level, maybe three or four inches. And that's because these are supposed to be sitting on casters. So I'm going to put some wood underneath this, maybe some good four by fours, and also use that to level the floor out beneath them. And that will also give me space beneath the cabinets to run any plumbing or electrical or anything else that I want to run below them and up through them. 
But before I get them mounted to the floor, I'm gonna cut that big hole for the sink and drop that in. You can see these countertops are nice and thick. They're really solid. There we go. Now I have a good look of what the sink's going to look like. Make sure that I have the counters in the spot where I want them. I've moved the cabinets out of the way now. This is the frame that they're going to sit on. I may uh, put some more shims underneath it if I need to, to level it out. But this is going to raise the cabinets up and it's going to make it nice and level because the floor is not even in here. Now you can get an idea of what I'm going for. And it's lucky that there's some threaded inserts right here. So I can use this. I'll make a plate to tie these together on the front and back and on the bottom as well. So that they stay nice and true and I can actually keep the level of the countertops uh, even with each other. So I'll just uh, need to make a plate here with four holes in it that I can bolt on and make sure that the cabinets stay secure to each other. Here's the cabinets with all the drawers and the doors on them. You can see the locks there, the lock on those doors there, and then that lock locks all of these drawers so that when you're going around a corner, none of those drawers fly open. This corner is really freed up compared to how it was before. I'm going to wait to secure these down because I still need to do the plumbing for the sink, which I'm going to save for next time. So this is as far as this project right here is going to go. And the best thing about this bed frame is that these giant totes fit right underneath it. So you can fill these full, just slide them underneath the bed. Now you have a ton of space compared to storing that stuff all over the place. This is quite the transformation for not a whole lot of work, actually. And back in that corner, there is room for another cabinet, so I might get a second drawered cabinet. Stick it back there. Well, that's it for today. I can't wait to take this truck camping again. Don't forget that there's links to everything that I use today in the description below. And if you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.